this is Dave with Gravity Wiz. Today, I am super excited to give you a crash course demo of our newest perk, Gravity Forms Entry Blocks. Uh, this perk aims to be the easiest way to display and edit Gravity Forms entry data on the front end of your WordPress websites. So let me first familiarize you with the data we're gonna be using. So in this case, we have a sample form here called Training Reports. And it's for a group of wizards who are learning new spells and they just want to keep track of their progress as they train. So we have a date field, a checkbox field with a, a few different spells. And then we also have additional notes section where they can just log information about that training session. So how do we display all of this data on the front end? The first step is to add a new page. Since we already have that, we'll go ahead and add a title. Wizard training sessions. And then we get to do the magic. We'll tap type slash to launch the suggestions. And then we'll type in entries, <laughs> even though it was the first option available to pull up the gravity forms entries block. Now that the block is selected, we can select a form that we want to pull entries from. In this case, I've selected training reports uh, that I just demonstrated for you. Now you're presented with a few different layout variations. In this case, we're going to go with the entries table because it's the easiest one to get started with. So selecting the entries table layout will be presented with an ID column and then two columns for edit and view. Let's add some more columns over here in the summary column section. So first we'll get the training date and we'll move that underneath the entry ID. And then we'll add spells trained and move that underneath the training date. Now we're ready to preview the form. In this case, we're going to go ahead and publish just to make it a little easier. Move my face up and we're going to click view page. Awesome. Looks exactly like what we just saw in the editor. So what happens if we click on the edit or view links? Click on the view link. It will take you to the single entry view. This is using the all fields merge tag by default to output all of the entry data, but we can fully customize this. So let's explore that. So to edit the single entry view, you would just go here and select the single entry icon for uh, that's part of the entry tables block. And then you'll go in and select the merge tag to our replace and just start adding your data. In this case, we'll go with training date, spells trained, and additional notes. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add some, well, let's add a title to the page. We'll say report number, and then we'll do entry ID, and then we'll put headers for each of these sections. So training date, and we'll select it and go to there, select heading, and we'll go with H5s for these. And we'll do the same thing all the way down. Spells trained, Select it, heading H5. And then last but not least, and I'll move my face again. We'll go with additional notes and make that a heading with an H5. Awesome. You can see now, get a sense of what this is going to look like. But let's go ahead and update just to see if it corresponds with what we see, expect to see on the front end. And it does. Only thing I forgot to do there was set this as an actual proper header. So we'll set this one to a heading, but just leave it at an H2. We'll update that again, and let's see what this looks like on the front end. Awesome. We've got a proper report page now that they can come and review their exact details, including their additional notes. So going back to the entries, let's see what happens when we edit one of these. So it'll just simply load the default form that the entry was originally created with. So let's say in this case that this was actually created on the 9th. Uh, the training date was the 9th and they just had a typo. And they also didn't train with the earthquake spell. Corrected, submitted, the edit was successful. And now we can go back to the entries and we can see that that entry was updated with the training date and the spells trained has also been updated. So now that we've explored how to display the entry data, let's talk about what you want to do as far as filtering which entries get displayed. So we'll go up and select the entry block. 
the entries block top level. I'll move my face yet again. And then we can go here to the entry query setting and select edit filters. So in this case, let's just say that we only want to show a filter to, we only want to show entries that belong to the current user. So in this case, we go created by, which is the current, the, which is a user ID and where that matches the current user ID. And that's it. And you'll see now that this list is automatically updated to match with my own, uh, my own training record. And you can see it's a much shorter list now. Additionally, if I log in with Jane Awesome, you'll see that there are different records for her. 10th, 7th, 4th, and 2nd. And again, mine were the 9th, 18th, 5th, 3rd, and 1st. So last but certainly not least, I wanted to quickly show you what the entries loop layout can do. So let's go ahead and remove our entries table and we'll remove our pagination and we'll do our magic keyword again, entries to get in our entry block and we will select the training reports form. And this time we're gonna select the entries loop layout variation. So by default, this will just simply output the all fields of view link and an edit link. So let's just see what that looks like to start. So you can see it's just giving us a simple list of all of the entries, but we want to customize this to look quite a bit different. So first things first, let's get rid of that. And we're actually going to use a table. This is one of the cool things about entry blocks and it's super powerful because you can use all of the existing blocks that already exist in the WordPress ecosystem. In this case, we're just gonna use a simple table to output our data alongside our headers. So again, training date. And then in here, you'll see the merge tags are still supported. And then spells trained. And one little tip here, you can actually insert merge tags with the merge tag selector from the toolbar as well. And then let's add another row because we're one short. And we'll do additional notes. Awesome. And then we are going to add one more bit here. We'll say report number like we did on the pre on the single entry view. So that way we can see it here and we'll convert that into a heading and we'll leave it at an H2. Awesome. So now when we preview this, we should see a repeating list of entries all in our table format. Awesome. So if you've made it this far, then you can already kind of get a hint of the potential that entry blocks provides you uh, in this regards to your ability to display and customize gravity forms entry data. This is absolutely still a work in progress. And that's why we're sharing it now because we want early feedback to help us prioritize the features that should be included in the upcoming beta. This is going to be a powerhouse perk and we're just super excited to get as much feedback as possible. So try it out. Let us know what you think and tell us what we should do next. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.